Human chromosomes are protected by telomeres, which like the plastic caps at the end of shoelaces, make sure that our genetic assembly instructions don't fray. These caps are made up of thousands of repeats of six nucleotides, or genetic building blocks, that are wrapped by a group of proteins, collectively called shelterin, that bind to each of these repeats. But each time a cell replicates, these caps get a little bit shorter, until a cap becomes so short that the cell can no longer divide. As we grow up and age, we gather more and more of these dormant or senescent cells, which eventually contribute to age-related illnesses. And all of this is normal. After all, we don't live forever. In fact, 60% of the rate at which our telomeres shorten is predetermined by our genetics. But we do have control over the remaining 40%. And some choices we make can further accelerate or decelerate the shortening of our telomere caps. And it is when just one cap becomes too short that we are predisposed to many diseases, including heart disease, <coughs> cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. But what if we could track the health of our telomeres before it is too late? While we have many methods that allow us to measure the length of our telomeres, they only provide us an average length. So scientists at Duke NUS have developed a new method that allows them to measure the length of every telomere down to the last nucleotide, revealing exactly where the shortest telomere is. And with that information in hand, we can act. Regular exercise, healthy diets and less stress all contribute to slowing the loss of telomeres, setting us on a path to a healthier old age.